StarCraft fans, this is Falcon Paladin coming to you with yet another weekly edition of Into the Void. This is a game between Gnarl and Eagle on New Gettysburg, the latter edition. In the bottom left side of the map, we have the blue Terran player. It is Gnarl. And in the bottom right side of the map, we have the red t Protoss player. It is Eagle. All right, so a PVT for you guys here. It looks like, wow, this was played on the sixth anniversary of StarCraft II. This was played a little bit longer ago than I thought. So uh, for those of you who have not had a game cast by me and you sent it a while ago, maybe don't give up hope. <laughs> I might have your replay still sitting around here uh, in my replay folders and I'll get around to it at some point. So this is Into the Void, our weekly examination of bronze and silver league level gameplay. These players are not great. They're not diamond, they're not masters, they're not grandmasters, they are silver and bronze, which means they will make mistakes, although let's not make the mistake of thinking they are super terrible at everything. You'll notice we get regular openings here, a barracks opening with gas from Gnarl, gateway opening with an assimilator from Eagle, so these players know what they're doing, it's when you make contact with the enemy, it's when you have to expand and when to expand. These decisions are what hurt the lobby players. So if you can hear in the background, that's Brood War music, well, original StarCraft Terran music. Anyway, great stuff. I really love it. I hope it's loud enough. It seems a little bit quiet to me, but in the past when I've done this, it's also seemed very loud when I've heard it in the final product. So hopefully this volume level is okay. Hope you can hear what's going on. And uh, if not, we'll try to do better next time. So here we are, Birthday Cake SCV, trying to throw down a command center and does, and manages to do so. And it's a Marine coming out from Gnarl. So not going to be a Reaper. No Reaper name, unfortunately, for us today. Probe doing a good job harassing this SCV. Get out of there, SCV. Cancel, run. And he does. He cancels, runs. Another SCV comes in to complete the work. And the Marine is here to chase away the probe. That was a good move. Good move, Gnarl. Well done, indeed. Representing S. Raven. Is that, like, that's so Raven? Like an abbreviation for that? <laughs> probe does die. Ouch. Bad move, Marine. Good move, though. I mean, who should we give credit to for that one? Bad move by the probe walking right past the marine, or good job by the marine positioning itself in a place where it could kill the probe? Hmm? What do you think? I don't know. I don't know where to give credit. A nexus on the way from Eagle, so basically one gate expanding here has a cyber core, is getting warp gate research. These players know what they're doing. They know what they're doing here. And that a factory? Yep, a factory. So maybe they've watched some of my casts. I assume they've watched some of my casts, considering the fact that uh, they sent it to me here at falconpaladin at gmail.com, which again is what you can do. If you have a uh, Into the Void level replay you want to send bronze and silver, that's interesting, that uses weird strategies, that is something that I would like to cast, then go ahead and send it to me at falconpaladin at gmail.com with the subject of Into the Void. I'll get it to my screeners and the best ones will be cast. So Reaper does not get the free probe kill. His name, by the way, is Reaper Harambe. Is it Harambe? The gorilla that was shot and killed after basically picking up a boy that fell into its enclosure a few months ago. That gorilla is going to live on in our collective memory forever. Anyway, this is Harambe. The Reaper does kill a probe. That's very nice. Well done. Not really doing anything else at this point, unfortunately. Which I am moderately worried about. But perhaps, perhaps he will once again find his motivation to go kill stuff. Starport on the way for Gnarl. Twilight Council coming up for the Eagle. And more and more gateways on the way for Eagle. So, I mean, this is looking all the world like a higher level replay than I expected. But again, we'll see how the macro does when things get crazy, when battles actually start happening, when you have to take your third, when to take your third. I mean, this Reaper is late. That's another indication this isn't super high level. And this Adept can three-shot him, so he needs to be careful. He needs to be really careful moving in. Lest he gets shot in the face like this. One, two. Oh, I think the Adept had the shot. Got it. Anyway, got the second shot anyway. But Eagle manually made the Adept move up and canceled the shot. So this Reaper possibly should be dead. Once again, good maneuvering by this Adept. Eagle, knowing how to do this thing. Oh, well, look out. Look out, Reaper. Good job. Good job keeping our Reaper alive. Harambe is alive here at the 4 minute and 30 second mark. He's not exactly as long lived as some of the other Reapers just because he came out later. It was a Marine first. It might have been a second, or uh, a Reaper second type build, but can't remember. Didn't see it. Widow Mine Drop. Widow Mine Drop from Gnarl. Look, trying to fly over these high walls. Hee <laughs> hee, can't do it. Can't fly over these high red walls on these bottom island bases. No sorry, Bob. Not even a little bit. Liberator on the way from Gnarl. And, oh, are there ads on this one? 
There are ads on this one. Hang on, I'll be right back. Okay, so we're back. Widowmines are dropping, and are they going to... Oh, they are going to fire one and two. Not as many kills as you would expect. Only two on that one and two on that one. Hmm, I also bumped up the music just a little bit here on the Terran soundtrack. Hopefully you can hear it a little bit better than before. Let me know in the comments what you think, and I'll try to see if I can make it a little bit louder next time or quieter next time, depending on what you need. A depth push here at the front by Eagle, but good wall. Good wall by Gnarl, not allowing that to happen. Are these Widowmines still here? Where did the other one go? Well, Widowmine's going to fire again. Dude, Eagle, you have a Widowmine in, in your main mineral line. Six kills on that one now. Does he have any observers? He is making one at the robotics facility. Wait, does he already have... Oh, he does already have one. Okay. Widowmine trying to run away. I assume that's what's happened to his friend. And does manage to live, but outside of the range of the mineral field. So I think he's okay with that. Adept trying to kill this bunker. No, no, no. No, don't try to kill the bunker, you guys. Ah, oh, getting murdered. So many dead adepts. Three of them getting killed there. That's a pro tip from Falcon Paladin. Do not try to break a wall with adepts. It will not work out, especially if there's a bunker there and there are marines shooting at you. Not looking good. Eagle is taking a third base, though, up along this right side. So that's a good look. Reaper here. Is that Harambe? Harambe, are you still alive? Is that you? I think that's you. Okay, so we'll see how you do here. I mean, at this point, you're just kind of part of the army, and nobody's really babysitting you at all, but... Was that an observer that died? Let's check it real quick. There's the scan. Yeah, observer trying to get out of the range of that scan. Can't quite get... Oh, shot it outside the scan circle range. That's a little frustrating for Eagle if he watches this on replay. All right, so adepts, four adepts sitting just outside of this natural base. We got tanks defending. We got marines defending. There is no third base here. Getting checked out by Eagle. Gnarl does not have a third. Getting happy about that as the third base for Eagle is about to complete here. 90% complete charge on the way from Eagle. See, this is where things get weird, you guys. This is where worker count starts to drop off. This is where we sit at 36 and 44, seven minutes into the game. People forget to make SCVs as Gnarl is. Still double pumping probes though as Eagle. Remembering probes and pylons as Day9 has taught us once upon a time. Stalker's here. Gonna sit out in the front as well. And here actually comes another Widowmine drop from Gnarl. If at first you succeed, try, try again. Is what Gnarl always says. Reminds me of Gnarl's Barkley. I read that's a fake band. I mean, it, just that it's like one dude doing all the vocals and stuff, just using computers to make it sound different and stuff. Not actually multiple people playing instruments and things. I don't know. Amazing stuff, though. I mean, that one song from the early 2000s, mid-2000s. Boom. Widowmine shot there. What was it called? Feels Good Inc. I want to say it is. Nine kills on that Widowmine. Impressive. And the medevac escapes from these stalkers. They don't have blankets. Just getting started now. Immortals coming in for Eagle as well. <clears throat> is that Widowmine still here? Widowmine still here. Eagle... Eagle! <laughs> Eagle, no! Why did you just kill the widow mine? You have observers. You have a bunch of them. You have three. Oh, there you have one. Alright, 11 kills on that widow mine now. I know you're getting messages that your workers are under attack, Eagle. You gotta figure this out, man. You gotta do it. Where's your observer? Where is it? Where's your single observer? Is it on the screen? I hate it when I click and it doesn't take me. Oh, it's over here. Way bottom left. Okay, is now heading on up. Can it get there before this thing fires again? I don't know if it can. So close. There's the cooldown, and there's the shot. Wham! Ends up with 14 kills. The Immortal finally clears it out. Uh, a lot of dead probes, you guys. 22 workers killed by Gnarl. And it's 39 to 55. Eagle has a 15 worker lead, despite the fact that he's lost 22 probes, and that's because he's actually continuing to probe up. And Gnarl just kind of forgot about working on SCVs entirely. So uh, he's trying to take a third base, which he is now. I think he had to clear out an adept or something to do it. That was fine. Not a big deal. What was that? Was somebody shooting? I feel like somebody was shooting. Oh, there was a liberator up here. Dang it, I heard the sound. Watch that mini-map. There it is. Yep, liberator killing more and more probes. I mean, this is turning into a probe massacre. Uh, 26 have been killed, and I feel bad for Eagle, except for the fact that he's still up 13 workers on his opponent. So, I mean, he's all right. Wait, is that not... That's not 13. 
That is... Holy crap. Doing math is so hard when you're casting. I'm not going to do it. But it's... Okay, is it... Is it 13? It might be 13. I'm going to say it's 13. Command center coming up this left side. Taking a fourth base now. And actually making SCVs? No. Not actually making SCVs is Gnarl. This is a problem. Your economy is going to hurt. And economy is kind of what matters in these lower levels. Robotics Bay. Uh, Robotics Bay on the way. We might see Colossus. Templar Archives coming up too. We could see some Archons. I like what Eagle is doing right now. He is down. Liberator shows up again, but there's a cannon defending now. Liberator gets her kills, though. With nine kills before getting blown out of the sky by this photon cannon. 30. Around 30 workers killed so far. And yet, it's 52 to 41. That's 11. Hey! That's 11 worker lead for Eagle. 10 o'clock at night. Casting into the void stuff. Does anything get better than this? Does anything get better? Hmm. Does it? So, fourth base up. Making that planetary fortress, making his third base a planetary fortress as well. I like that. He's got marines, he's got marauders, he's got Harambe leading the way as his reaper friend and some medevacs in the sky. So he knows the basic concept. He's got a tank in here too. He's working on plus two infantry weapons. That's not bad. It's almost complete as well. And look at that extended thermal lance on the way for Eagle. He's getting Colossus. Yes. Yes, he's getting Colossus. Fourth base on the way for Eagle. These guys are expanding like there's no tomorrow. Like there's no tomorrow. Getting plus three infantry armor. Does he already have? He already has plus two armor. Gnarl, you're not SCVing up very well, but uh, your upgrades are on points. I'm very impressed by your upgrades in this game. More and more gateways coming in here for Eagle, but here comes the army. Oh no, these gateways are very low on HP because they're just warping in. If Gnarl went down that ramp and just started murdering stuff, he would clear these guys out so fast. Go, Gnarl, go. And he does. He comes down the ramp with the stim. Gateways, a bunch of them do get cancelled. These two as well do get cancelled, and the fourth base is a loss. Cancel, cancel. Everything's get cancelled. Blah, except for that pylon. That doesn't get cancelled. Probe, happily long distance mining with an army just inches from it. Stalker, immortal, adept, zealot here. I don't know if it's enough from Eagle to do this thing. Upgrades are plus one, plus one for Eagle, but not quite as good as what Narl's dealing with right now, which is the plus two, plus two. Immortal's doing great against the Marauders. Stalker's okay against the Marines here. Zealot's getting on top, absorbing shots, and actually dealing damage with their charge ability. Pretty good stutter step micro back here from Gnarls as well. Not Gnarls, it's Gnarl. And Marauder left on the ground. Does get picked up at the last second by the medevac, and everybody escapes. Eagle won that battle. I did not see that coming. He's got more stuff. He's got the combination gateway pylon set up in the top left side of the map to maybe try to take out that planetary fortress difficult with the number of stalkers you have eagle don't do it he decides not to he's had a bad experience in the past trying to do that thing blink kill the medevacs blink kill the medevacs you have blink i see it right here doesn't do it again another difference between the pros and these lobies is that blink would have been automatic for a protoss player i mean they'll do that anytime anywhere a lot more marines and marauders here though the blink backward Leaving the Immortal to die, and these Stalkers are in so much trouble. Wah! Getting destroyed here. Luckily, no Concussive Shell research for the Marauders, or these Stalkers would be dead. I mean, would have been dead sooner, I suppose, here. Slow Warping of Zealots. A lot of Zealots here, though. Oh, taking the Pylon down, canceling the Warping, giving Eagle his money back. Money starting to be a problem for both of these guys, but Marines and Marauders doing what they can against the Zealots. Finally cleaning them out. Concussive Shells is now being researched. I think Gnarl realized what I realized. And taking out this little proxy gateway and pylon combination, Eagle's forced to return home in shame. Is he going for a fourth base? How's that income tab looking? 54 to 64. Nice, comfortable 10 worker lead. Very comfortable. 33 workers killed by Gnarl so far. Eagle, you keep losing stuff. You continue to lose stuff, man. A pylon survived. Oh, just kidding. Marauder found it. In this top left side, I thought a pylon lived, but no, no, this Marauder with plus three armor and plus two grenades ended up finding it. Two observers observing the Gnarl army here in the middle left side of the map. Extra observed. They are extra observed right now. Colossus count is two. Yep, with another one on the way. I don't know, man. I know I said the Colossus curse is over, but I'm not sure it's going to work at this level. Maybe, oh, some Templar are getting slow warped in here at the front as well. Maybe with Archons. Archons against this bio with Colossus. Seems like a pretty potent combination, but Gnarl has more and more people coming up 
More and more Marines and Marauders. 105 to 68. Army supply is Gnarl. Is that Reaper alive still? Nope, Reaper died. Harambe, we will remember you. Of course, someone's going to tell me it's Harambe, you idiot. I don't know. I don't listen to news stories about this stuff. I just read it. And Harambe seems like it makes more sense. So that's what I'm calling him. Observers did not follow the army, unfortunately. So here we go. Colossus. Is the Colossus scare Gnarl? Kill the Liberators. Kill the Liberators first. Colossus trying to do what they can. Archon's on top of everything now. Colossus getting focused down. Dead immediately. But a lot of stuff dying because of that focus. Archon's having a field day with these biological units. Zealots on top of everything as well. The Zealot-Archon combo better than you would expect here. Eight kills on that Archon. No kills on that Archon. Get in on it, Archon. Come on, man. Oh, Stalker's killing Medivacs as they try to flee. Do they have a boost? They just now boosted a little bit late. A little bit late, but better late than never. More Marines, more Marauders coming up here from Gnarl. Can he do this thing? Stalkers trying to stand on in. Zealot numbers are a little bit low right now, but Liberators getting blinked under and killed. Nice job, Stalkers. Archon going to die with 10 kills to his name. Stalker versus Marauder with the upgrades they have. Not great. Not great for the Stalkers. They have plus three, plus three, though. So maybe Zealot comes in at the last second, is chewing people up from behind. And yes, Protoss Eagle wins that battle, but reinforcements coming in from Gnarl because he's like four inches from his home. And that is the end of that. So a very short-lived victory. Three Observers going to die. Three Observers die in about 0.3 seconds. That is the most Observers I have seen die at once, I think, ever, actually. So Zealot's here. Four Eagle might try to take down that Planetary Fortress. They have the upgrades. Plus three, plus three is no laughing matter. No laughing matter at all. So four bases up for Eagle. Four bases up for the Gnarl. Got pylons in weird places. Does <laughs> Eagle. Uh, top left side, top right side. Has an observer along this little tiny path between the two bases on the bottom. So that's good. I like that. Nobody's taken the island bases. We're at 16 minutes in. Maybe somebody should consider doing that. Production tab. For Eagle was empty for a second there, but he's now taking a fifth base. Here comes the drop from Gnarl, though. Man, how is he at showing up exactly when Eagle is trying to get stuff established? Canceling the Nexus. Pylon that was already constructed is dead. Canceling the gateways. Eagle. Eagle canceled the gateways. Nope. Didn't cancel that one. Didn't cancel that one. Canceled the other two. So a mixed bag. A bit of a mixed bag. I think he's trying to get his army up here instead. Colossus with plus three attack. 15 damage times two with a range of nine. Woo! Cleaning that out, picking up, running away is Gnarl. He does not like what he sees with his Archon, Zealot, some Stalker, Colossus play. Any more Colossus coming out here? No, just the one. Nothing in production. Eagle, again, not spending the money super well. 67 to 65 workers. Gnarl's taking a lead in workers, everyone. Nicely done. I mean, yeah, he killed a lot of workers himself. Anyway, Zealots are here. I, all right, they're going to go for the Planetary Fortress. I don't know if it's going to work. There's the repair with the SCV. It's definitely not going to work now. Planetary Fortress ends up getting two kills as the Marines and Marauders steal his glory. He wanted those Zealot kills, not everybody else. Come on. Fifth base on the way for Gnarl and taking a sixth base at the same time. So expanding up along this left side very beautifully. As the Protoss music comes in from Brood War, always very contemplative. Is what it felt like to me when I used to play that game. Just like... I mean, it feels very Protoss to me, but maybe that's because that's the only time I've ever heard it was when I'm playing Protoss. Forcing a cancel on that fifth base. Gnarl's not happy about that. He does scan and sees what the army is. Pretty scary stuff. No uh, plasma shield upgrade, though, for Eagle. I figure if you're at plus three, plus three, you might as well go for the plasma shield upgrade, too. Especially if you have Archons. Whoa, SCV Massacre! No! Oh, Gnarl sent some SCVs to this now defunct fifth, and they got murdered. So, legal, looking out. Gnarl wants revenge, and here it is. Archons along this bottom side. Colossus standing back, doing work. Archon on the top really wants to get on in there. Finally gets on in a little bit late to the game. This Archon at the bottom has ten kills. Archon up top only has two because of bad pathing, but he won that battle very easily. Blinking forward, taking that medevac down. Remember what I said about blinking forward? Eagle pulled it off, man. This six base in trouble as well. But more Marines, more Marauders coming on in. Zealots in here trying to absorb that damage while Archons deal it. 13 kills on that one before it dies. Stalkers take down the six base of Gnarl. No, Gnarl. 
Boosh. Zealots again trying to kill a planetary fortress. Fourth base not going to work, it turns out. Colossus dies with, I think, 16 kills. Backing up. I want to see how many kills he got. Uh, 14 kills on that Colossus, but got stuck on the front lines a little bit, unfortunately for him. 19 kills. Whoa! Effective Colossus, to say the least. Stalkers on top of Marines and Marauders. Again, I don't feel like this is a good matchup, especially with the fully upgraded guys on the ground in blue here. With medevacs overhead, more stalkers warping in. You need immortals. If you're going to kill these planetary fortresses, you need immortals is what you are needing. But fifth base is up for Eagle. No such thing for Gnarl. So Eagle has a bit of a lead here. A bit of a lead, I would say. Army supply, 51 to 48. Yeah, very small. Worker supply, 65 to 52. As he has killed 23 of uh, Gnarl's workers now. So try starting to even that up, even that count up just a little bit and it's a bit of a lull a bit of a lull oh drop drop coming into the main base with marines with marauders focusing on that templar archives immediately but another attack up here from eagle forcing a cancel on that base can they kill the planetary fortress they have archon support archons going for the pf you need to kill the sevs don't try to kill the planetary fortress Oh, he's trying to do it. He's trying to kill the PF with an army coming from the backside as well. But he gets it. He gets the PF. I think the SCV stopped repairing. That hurts. That really hurts. Archon Stalker doing very well, pushing that army away. Gnarl still sitting here inside the main base of Eagle. A lot of Zealots warping on in here. Go, Zealots. Go. Defend. The chaos is real. Zealot Stalker killing all the SCVs at this fourth base. An attack up this way of Pure Stalker finding the barracks. All the barracks in the world on the low ground here. But Gnarl trying to do what he can here in the main. However, the Zealot count a little bit too high. Can they clear out this bio? Sort of not really, though. And by sort of not really, I think maybe at this point. Uh, four kills on that one Zealot. No. Does finally succumb. But continuing to push up here are these Stalkers from Eagle. Trying to walk up this front door and kill the bunker. Their Adepts could not earlier. And yes, they get it. They get the bunker. They're just kind of standing in, picking up Marines and Marauders as they walk by on their rallies. Marines and Marauders now at the third base, picking up, boosting up on over here. There's a lot of idle probes at that location. Put those probes to work. They could be working up here at the fifth. Eagle. Stalkers burning down more and more SCVs here. 48 workers killed by Eagle, 43 by Gnarl. This is turning into a very weird base race, ladies and gentlemen. But it is into the void, after all. What did we expect? Zealots finally catching up to this small group of Marines. Photon overcharge, not quite able to kill the medevacs there. And Moo Mothership Core gets destroyed by a Marine that drops out right on next to it. Stalkers still alive here in the natural base of Gnarl. Not for long, probably. Why are you focusing down the Orbital Command? Kill these guys first and then get the Orbital Command. Um, focusing down a Supply Depot. This is some weird decision making from Eagle. But the Marauder is able to take out that Stalker. And it looks like the base race is now over. Terran player, gone home. Protoss player, gone home. The problem is that Gnarl is down 47 to 105 total supply. Also 39 to 20 army supply. And 66 to 29 worker supply. So he's down in all facets right now. He needs to expand somewhere. He is. He's trying to do his new fourth base. Here to the right side, kind of the middle section here, that has been the site of some pretty big battles in the past that I've cast on my channel. <laughs> here comes the SCV transfer, here comes the Orbital Command. And the Orbital Command lands. Eagle, when behind or when ahead, Dark Shrine. That's what he says. Yeah, the problem with Eagle is that he just has Stalkers and Zealots, which are not great against Marines, Marauders, and Medivacs, which is what Gnarl has. Although, Gnarl only has nine Marauders, so I feel like with enough Zealot support, you can get this thing done. But just expanding, again, his Eagle went ahead, get more ahead is what he's doing, taking a very nice sixth base just to the south of his fifth base. Very good indeed. And is he going to move out? Yep, Gnarl's moving out. He knows that a stable and timid Terran is a dead Terran. So he's moving out with his Marauders with a couple Medivacs. But here come the Zealots. The Blink Ford with the Stalkers take down both of the Medivacs instantly. Oh, oh, that makes them so much worse. 
So much worse. Dark Shrine just about to finish here. Both players spending their money. Look at this. Well, I guess if you kill their workers, they're going to spend their money because their economies will not be crazy to this point. But Gnarl mining as fast as he can from his new replacement fourth base. He's got mules in there. That income tab is pretty even, actually, when it comes to minerals. Gnarl might have a slight lead, but Eagle definitely has the gas income advantage. Almost a 3-1 to one difference here with all the assimilators he's got humming right now. Uh, so, Eagle, you might want to make some more Archons. That seems like a good idea. Make some DTs as well. It's starting to get some money. 500 minerals, about 600 gas here. And Terran player Gnarl is just consistently starved for the minerals. Although, eh, back up to four now. What happened? Those mules, some new mules come in. Some Oh, the DT is here. Eagle DTing Gnarl's fourth base. Ugh. Five kills on that DT. And here comes an attack this way's way. Zealots on top of everything. Stalker's kind of getting distracted by these SCVs, leaving the Zealots alone with the Marauders, but they're doing okay. They're using that charge. They're getting pulled away, and that's it. A good game well played. Good game well played from Gnarl. Eagle calls the GG, and Gnarl is defeated. Well done by Eagle, getting the victory here today. Fitting, considering the Protoss music that is on in the background. So that was pretty good. Pretty good into the void. I'd probably put these guys in silver rather than bronze. I mean, they did some good things. The blink micro was pretty decent from Eagle. The stutter step from Gnarl was crazy. Like, I can't believe how good that stutter step was. That was some beautiful stuff on display there. But in the end, Eagle was able to kill a lot of bases, able to harass this fourth base as well. And somehow, someway made it work with Stalker Zealot at 25 minutes into the game. You never see that. You never see that. I love the Archon. I love the Colossus play as well. He kind of gave up on that a little bit. Never really used Storm, which I'm kind of surprised by. But again, that's pretty micro-intensive. And maybe Blink was the extent of what Eagle was capable of doing. So, good job by both these players. But congratulations to Eagle, who gets the victory. And that's it from me. So, this has been Falcon Paladin coming to you with yet another weekly edition of Into the Void. Go ahead and hit that like button. Hit the subscribe if you like what you saw and what you heard today. You can also catch me on Twitter and Facebook, both at slash Falcon Paladin. And until next time, as always, thank you so much for watching, and you take care of yourself. Patrons! Nicholas Cheek, Sean Govin, Nick Riley, Josh Cornelius, Jin, Robert Farmer, KN, Matt Meermans, Huck on Marcus, Christopher, Alex Coffey, Ben Raboyne, 19 Day, Kith Garlo, Alexander Canaris, Complex, Ian Westbrook, Michael McIntosh, Sam Estegoy, Bo Set, Kale Anderson, Trevor Smith, Manhattan, GMP, Sik Kupata, Pedro Batsaras, Michael Willen, Plaid, Henry Cooper, Clayton Knight, Jan Kodera, Kevin Chang, Rajiv Bhatt, link at the top right, thank you, bye. And so you must run And it's taken your heart And broken your soul You cannot go back Until you're made whole And you're running Into the void You go searching You can live A place you can love Is it just an illusion When push comes to shove There's a light upon you reason and a way to atone all around you the planet 
lights and stars You're lost in a maelstrom Of a great new unknown And you're running Into the void Searching into the void to find a place you can live, a place you can love. Is it just an illusion? to show Into the void And you're running Into the void